This surah is unique for many reasons. And one of them is that Allah Azza wa Jal began this surah with one single word that is an ayah by itself. Ar-Rahman is one ayah. Ar-Rahman allama al-Qur'an is actually one sentence. It's one sentence. Ar-Rahman allama al-Qur'an. But Allah broke it up. So Allah took one sentence and put it in two ayat. Why would He do that? One of the reasons Allah does that, Allah tells us Himself in His book, He says, لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِهِ وَلِيَتَذَكَّرَ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ So people could do deep thinking about each and every one of His ayat. If it was one sentence, then we would think about the whole sentence as one ayah. But He said, Ar-Rahman. Stop, this is an ayah. This is an ayah by itself, subhanallah. So we got to stop too. We can't just go on. We have to stop and think about this word. What does it mean? Where does it come from? You know, we use this word all the time. We say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We say Fatiha all the time. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We use the word all the time. But what does it mean? Can anybody give me an English translation that you've read before? Merciful. Uh, some people use benef beneficent, right? Compassionate. You don't normally use the word beneficent in conversation, yes? The purpose of translation is so you and I can understand. And translation should be with words that you can actually use, that you actually relate to. And the other problem is, the, the easier word is merciful. Merciful is easy to understand for most people who understand English, they know the word merciful. But the problem with the word, there's also a problem with this word, is that it's actually different from the word rahmah. Mercy is different from the word Rahmah. And I first want to explain that difference to you. Ar-Rahmah in Arabic comes from a few things. One of them is Ar-Rahm. When a woman is pregnant, her stomach is called Rahm. And it's called Rahm because that baby is taken care of in every way. Now there's a relationship between the mother and the child. Does the child know the mother? No. Does the child have love for the mother yet? No. Is the mother taking care of the child already? In every way, the entire world of the child is taken care of by the mother. And the child has no idea, no clue, that he is loved so much, that the mother is willing to do so much for this child, and protect it from every danger. That word gives birth to the word rahma. Rahma is not the same as mercy, because mercy in English is used when you spare someone. Someone who shows you rahma is someone who has compassion towards you. Someone who wants to be soft and easy with you. When Allah calls Himself Ar-Rahman, He is saying that He loves you. He is saying that He cares for you. He is saying that He understands that you are very delicate and you must be handled with care. And Allah will take care of all, every matter that you have. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to abandon you.